So we're back here with some different little recipes you can do with your ramps and stuff. So, come in and look at this thing. So you have your roots off of your ramps like this. You can take it and go right up next to it and cut it off and just like this. Or you can do what my son does. He uses scissors on it and just cut them off. And if you have good little chunks of bulb. the bulb left, like that one is, you can cut that off. Okay. So after you get that trash out of there, after you do it like this, just do a whole bunch. We had a bunch of leftover extra leaves too with ours. So we stuck them on the oven on some aluminum foil, turned it to the lowest setting and just let it slowly go until- Overnight. No, it wasn't overnight. We turned it off and let it sit there and it dried them out really good. So this is what you got afterwards so the lowest our oven would go with 170 you basically just want it like dried grass basically and just keep an eye on it and as you see here is the little pieces of the root we cut off the bulb and it breaks up just super easy like that that's what you're looking for and we got a whole this was a whole big uh, bowl of stacked up to about here. And after they dried out, this is what we got left. And it's got pieces of ramp in it that are dried out. It has leaves in it that are dried out. And it also has the roots in it. And Lane wants to show you real quick how to cut it with scissors. Hold over cutting board. So you can take it like that and snip it off with the scissors too. And like, you like that. can trim it that far to it gets to about right here and then you have to stop and... so for this next part you will need a food processor or a coffee bean grinder something that can chop it up really fine okay so after you get your grinder out you can open it make sure your wheels all the way down on there and just salt and there's no really certain measurement but it does seem to work better if you use coarse sea salt. Yeah. And then good handful of rams, dried rams. The crisper they are, the better it is. But do not burnt do not let them get burnt. So packing the ramps in around it. I'm just guessing and eyeballing. Yeah, just guessing and eyeballing. There's really no measurements. Just gotta make sure that'll give you an idea of how much is in there, and then you can grind them up.
you over here in the light. So you basically you basically grind it to a powder. Yeah. Soak the salt. As you can see, the darker spots with the salt there, the finer you make it, it's fine too. But this is the other one. So got just an old container. I think it was yeah, it was black peppercorn or pepper from yeah. Sam's. Peppers from Sam's. So I mean it doesn't take much to make a lot. And you can definitely if you had smell of vision you could definitely see how good uh, it smells. And this is great for tenderizing on fish and steak and deer meat. Anything you use onions and garlic in, you can put this in. Yeah, like she said, anything you use onions or garlic in, you can put this in. Gives a nice, nice flavor. And this is just like any other dried out herb or anything like that. It'll last forever and ever. Just as long as you keep it in a dry, cool spot. No moisture. Just like salt, you can get moisture in it and it will start to clump up but yeah that's how you can preserve some ramps and have them all year long and i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did hit the thumbs up button and if you'd like to you can hit the subscribe button and come follow us as we're making different stuff with the ramps we got this planned and then ramp pepper planned and then we got some ramp butter coming after that all kinds of stuff getting ready for a good summer y'all stay healthy happy and safe this is adam y'all have a great day bye